Morphing time. Dino Charger. Ready. Stegosaurus. Power Ranger. Blue. Ha! I'm here with Yoshi Sadarso. Ah, Coda. Blue uh, Dino Charge Ranger. How you doing, man? I'm doing really well, man. It's good. You know what? I'm happy that you're on the show because you're a fan of Power Rangers. And we're at the, all of random places. We're at E3. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of things, so it's this is kind of overwhelming, actually. <laughs> Are you, you were um, a stunt actor, I believe, too, right? So, yes. I, um, I was a stuntman first, and then I became the actor. And that was like the first time I really did any big acting was uh, Power Rangers. First time I did a full run of anything, so it's pretty exciting to be on that. Um, Sentai. Let's talk Sentai for a second. What's your favorite season? Sin Kenjer. Yeah. Awesome. Did you watch your uh, your counterpart? Okay, so I watched Kyoto when it was coming out. Like, I, I like to wait until all of it is out so I can watch it all together. And then I saw the audition for it and I was like, oh look, they're skipping Go Busters. You know, I was like, sweet. So I'll go watch Kyoto again. And then I auditioned for it. And then when I got it, I watched it again. How, I watched it a lot. <laughs> how, uh, how close was Koda? To the uh, your your counterpart. To be honest, I don't think he's at all that similar. I mean, um, the only thing similar is just their physicality. That's pretty much it. And the the reason for that is because I had seen the Japanese show, so I kind of tried to make it match seamlessly with the Japanese footage as much as possible. But as you can see, Koda has his own pose that he does, as opposed to you know Kyoto Blues. So which you know, which I know. Uh, quick question. <laughs> Obviously, a Dino Charge is still airing out here, and then you got Dino Supercharge coming up. Can you reveal anything coming up on the season? Well, I can reveal about the Dino Superdrive, because that's apparently revealed. So, yeah, Dino Superdrive. It's going to look dope. I yeah. mean, that was one of the coolest things when I saw the concept of it. It was like, oh my gosh, we're getting a whole new suit. Like, the helmet's awesome. You know, like, I love the black mouth. So, I, I think that's really cool. And it's, it's, it's not too bulky, I think. And you guys have gotten a lot of positive reaction for your season. I think I, so far this season's amazing. I I was a little bit worried going into it because as a fan, I was like, oh, it's it's been kind of weak. And um, knowing that Chip was back, actually when I went to go audition, I saw Chip uh, sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's Chip Lin. It's a whole new thing. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, let's do this. So when I booked it, I was really excited uh, to see what he had to offer. When we got to New Zealand, they showed us everything and I was just like, Yes, yes, this is it. Like, it's going to be good, so I'm really excited for it. Ciara Hannah told me that the uh, biggest thing that you guys needed in New Zealand was a car. Did you guys rent cars? I know you weren't allowed to. I rented a car um, when a couple of my friends came over, because during the breaks, we had, like, my brother came over, um, my fiance came over, and a couple of my other friends came over. So we all went to the South Island and drove around, and it's definitely, you need to drive there. But then when you get back, the problem is adjusting, and the hardest thing isn't like driving on the right side of the road, it's like, and Claire actually just said this too, is like hitting the blinkers, because the blinkers are on the opposite sides, so you're hitting their windshield wipers when you're trying to make a left or whatever, it's like, ah. <laughs> now let me ask you something about Dino Supercharge. I know you can't reveal too much because it hasn't aired yet, yeah. but in the press release it does say that there's 10 Rangers this season. Do Does each Ranger uh, have a person that we've met on the show already, or is it uh, new people that we're introducing? or? Did you even reveal any of that? Um, I guess that answer is a little bit vague. If I gave you a straight answer, it it wouldn't be right. Um, so I want, I'm, I'm just going to not answer it. Yeah. yeah. Let's play on the safe side of caution. Now, uh, you down for a ranger quiz? I think this is something you can easily pass. I don't know, actually. I mean, because I skipped a couple uh, seasons, but let's try it. On your season? Well, my season. I mean, oh, right that's going to be even harder. <laughs> but yeah, let's try it. Why not? All right. What are the uh, henchmen of your season? Reader Pulse had the putties, you guys have the? Vivix. What is the name of the city your season takes place in, or the name of the museum that you work at? Amber Beach. Good job, good job. I think that's pretty impressive. <laughs> your theme song. Oh, theme song. All right. In a world full of strife, we must fight to survive. Sorry guys, I can't sing. It was good <laughs> enough though. Actually, I really like your guys' theme song. So catchy. I... All right, I got to tell you a story about this one. Um, Chip likes to mess with us a little bit. So he goes in there and he's like, oh, you know, check out the song. And then he plays something that isn't really what we were going to get. So I, me, being a fan, was like, please, no more of the same. You guys know what I mean. Um, and I was like, please. And then they played it and I was like, mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's a little bit different, but it's still kind of the same way. And I had this face, and everybody like was looking at me. It was like, wow, Yoshi's not hiding this at all. And then, you know, they were like, oh, that's good. And then <laughs> she was like, just kidding. This is the real song. I was like, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that to me. Um, name, what's your character's last name? Does your character even have a last name? He doesn't have a last name, but here's a little trivia for you guys. Koda, as I've decided, <laughs> He is 99,872 years old, so he's uh, around 20 around uh, when Dino Charge is happening. He's been there for six months, so he's he was frozen technically not 100,000 years, 99,852 years. That, you know that's canon now. That we're gonna make that, a, that make it canon. I'm saying it to make it canon. <laughs> if you had to choose your dream Power Ranger team with no cast members of your season, who would you choose? Ooh, Dan Southworth, easy, Eric, Quantum Ranger, um, yeah, um, let me see, I really like Debra, um, Katie from Time Force, like the strength is similar to Coda's. I'm seeing a, a trend here. I do like Time Force, I, I have to admit, I do love Time Force, I actually just met Debra two days ago, or no, yesterday on a No Hate shoot, and she's okay. so lovely, yeah, she's come out of hiding, so, she's lovely. Lovely, and when she makes the social media thing, go follow it. Um, let's see, who else? All right, <laughs> everybody's gonna give me flack for this. Tell me, green, green ranger, green ranger, not white, green. All right, just because it's my favorite color. And uh, ooh, mm. I mean, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, so I got a green, I got a, I, I got, got a yellow, yellow. Got red, I got a red. Ah, yeah, let's put him in, yeah, he's red. Um, what do I need? I need, okay, I'll take, me is blue, right? Oh, Archie Cow in Lost Galaxy was pretty dope. Um, oh no, actually, if it had to be a blue, it had to be RPM. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ari, Ari's, uh, no, it was Ari Boylan. Ari was Boylan, it? Ari Boylan. He's a good guy. He's, he's awesome, I want to meet him. And then, ooh, a pink. Mm, oh, I hate to do this, but yeah, I mean, Aaron. Aaron Cahill for, uh, Cahill? Is that his name? Cahill, yeah. Cahill. It's gotta be her. I mean, she was such a leader in that team, and she's awesome. So it, it would have to, man. It's like Time Force team. Yeah, you just picked the whole uh, Power Rangers Time Force. Is that a cast that you you'd want to be on? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that would have been dope. I mean, I don't know. It would have been really. Cool. It would have been really hard though, because everybody was just like so strong. I would have had to step my game up. <laughs> So, We're yeah. not even uh, in 2016 yet. We know that that's when Dino, uh, Dino Supercharge is right. going to be apparent. Um, any chance that you would come back for another season of Power Rangers, uh, whatever it may be after that? Um, I think it all depends. Right now that I'm back, I'm just kind of figuring out do I want to go back to stunts because I love stunts or do I want to do acting? Um, but really, I mean, I can't just say no flat out to like another season of it. It's It's got to be, you know, it's gotta be, I gotta see it, I gotta, I mean, and, I mean, if it is, if it does end up being ninjas, like, who doesn't want to be a ninja? You know what I mean? Like, when I saw, like, Ninja was neck, I was like, oh, why did I audition for this one? Really? <laughs> I mean, I love ninjas over dinosaurs, but, um, dinosaurs is dope, too. But your season is so strong, it's so it good. It is, I agree. And if Chip continues to do it, who's to say that Ninja wouldn't be strong, you know? Or whatever exactly. it is next, it could, you know, it could go back to Goldbuster, it could be Tokyuger, what? Although Tokyuger was good. This is an awesome interview, it was a yeah. pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see you at Morphicon next year. Yes, yes, definitely. 100%. Definitely. You'll see me at all kinds of cons. <laughs> awesome, thank you.